Welcome to this video. This video explains how to design and create an effective mesh to have accurate results in complicated problems and geometry. In our previous video, we solved this problem and we obtained these results about the stress concentration and distribution in the problem. As you can see, the stress concentration factor should be around 3, but in our simulations, the result is about 2.25, which is far from the analytical solution. To improve our accuracy, at the first step, we can refine the mesh. For this purpose, we can go to the mesh module and seat the part again with a finer mesh. I reduce the size of the mesh by two times and another time mesh the part. This is our new mesh and we can run the problem again. This work is a part of mesh dependency investigation, which means that we refine the mesh and if the result has no significant change, that means that the mesh is appropriate. We should refine the mesh until the result converges to a constant value. The result is not accurate yet and we also could, instead of refining the mesh, use high order mesh. We can use quadratic element instead of linear element. Quadratic elements are superior in modeling stress concentration in problems. This element has 8 nodes instead of 4 nodes in linear elements and can model stress gradients better than linear elements. We use this element to calculate stress concentration around the hole. By running the problem again, we can see that this element is really effective in reducing our error and calculating stress concentration factor in the problem. We can see the result now. And we can plot the S11 stress and compare it with applied pressure which was 1. The stress concentration factor is 3.1 which is a good approximation but we want a better result. Consider that both refining the mesh size or using high order elements increase our computational cost but we do not need refined mesh in all the parts and we have stress concentration only around the hole. We can use coarse mesh far from the hole and fine mesh beside the hole. For this purpose we can use seat edge option in the mesh module. For better result, we can also use partitioning the part to control mesh size distribution better. We partition our part by face a sketch and create a line in diagonal direction. Now we can mesh the part again by seed edge. I use seed edge for borders and then use bias option here and we, I can enter the minimum and maximum mesh size of the edge. The minimum is 0 0.1 and the maximum is uh, can be for example coarser than our previous mesh. I choose 2 for the maximum. I use 
a smaller mesh around the hole and larger mesh far from the hole I repeat the process for the middle line and also the bottom line for better controlling of the mesh size I can mesh all of the edge here we don't use bias and use a coarse mesh for outer border and for the circle we use a fine mesh I just apply more mesh control to the model and now can mesh the model you can see that an appropriate mesh applied to the model coarse mesh far from the stress concentration and fine mesh around the hole by submitting the job we expect a good result about the stress concentration and as we did not increase the mesh number we expect the similar computational cost to before simulation but more accurate results we can monitor the job and see the results now we plot the S11 stress component and the value is 3.03 .03, which is very close to the analytical solution which was 3 I hope this video has helped you out guys Please let us know your comments and please do not forget to like or subscribe.